In our message today, I'll be talking about seeing a vision. And this word vision, in Hebrew, it is called Hazon. So I hope you'll be blessed as we share this message to you. Let's go to the scripture of the day, Hosea chapter 12, verse 10. I have also spoken by the prophets. Now let's go to King James Vision. I want you to see the word there that actually the Bible is talking about. All right? It says, I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions. And used similitudes. Similitudes. Somebody says similitudes. I have multiplied visions and I have used similitudes. For the people who are in the corporate world, they will understand the word similitude. Are you there? So when somebody is trying to do a business or a project, they say, now we want to use a similar approach which this company or that company is using. So that is a similitude. It is a similarity. Something that is similar. Uh, let's go to NIV. I want you to see what the Bible is saying there. In NIV, the Bible says what? I spoke to the prophets, gave them many visions. So the word vision there, it must not scare you. Like you must be a prophet to see a vision. No. The word vision there is the word hazon. Which means a vision of the mind. Go back to the scripture. Let's read together. I want you to read there. One, two, three, go read. So the word vision there, it must not scare anyone that, oh, I have to be a prophet to see a vision. No. The word vision there is the word hazon. Which means a similitude that comes in the thoughts of what you want to become or what you want to be. For example, these visions, they come into personalities. For personal use and for personal benefit. What does that mean to you? So when Joseph had a vision where he saw his brothers coming to him and honoring him and respecting him, what did he see? Did he see his brothers? No. He saw a band of wheat. So a bundle of wheat was a similitude of his brothers. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? He saw a, 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 a heap of wheat, a bundle of wheat bowing to his bundle. He saw stars. So the stars you were seeing was a similitude. So where you are, God said in John 2 verse 28, In the last days I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Then the Bible says, And young men shall see what? Visions. The word vision in there is the word hazon. These visions which young men shall see are not the ones prophets see for ministry. These visions are to do with some visions which the world sees. Being able to have an idea. Capturing something in the spirit. In your mind. Downloading something. And this one is not by your own ability. But you are able to do it by the help of the Holy Spirit. 
So the Bible says, and they, they shall see what? But they will never see these visions without the influence of the Holy Spirit. If there is a place right now, let's go read the Bible, John 2, 28. If there is a place right now where people must be visionaries, it is the church. Because we have the Holy Spirit. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Somebody said, I receive has on. I receive has on. I can tell you, by the end of this program, someone will have a vision. Someone will have an idea. The word vision in there is the word has on, which means divine concepts. Divine ideas. You will, you will receive a divine idea from heaven. That will change your whole thinking. That will change your whole career. That will change your whole living. That will change your whole ministry. That will change your whole family. That will change your whole business. It is a divine concept. Am I talking to you? If you're following, raise up your hands. I'm following prophet. So the Bible says, let's go to the scripture. And afterward. I will pour out my spirit on all people. So this one, it is not for some people or for some prophets. No, it's for all people. They shall have this experience. What experience? I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. So the word vision there is the word has on. Having an ability to receive, download a divine concept, a divine idea. Did you hear that? If you are seeing people struggling today, they are struggling because they lack one thing, vision. Come on. Are you there? People are struggling, people are suffering because they lack what? Vision. The Bible says today, where there is no vision... People perish. Doesn't the Bible say that? It says where there is no what? Vision. People do what? The Bible never says where there is no connection. The Bible never says where there is no uh, money. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible says where people perish is where there is no vision. Where there is no hazon, people perish. So where you are, between you and where your miracle is, between you and where your healing is, between you and where your breakthrough is, there is only one thing. You need to download, to receive a divine idea in your mind. And it is known as hazon or vision. It will change your whole life. You must begin to pray that I need to see a vision. And you receive it. And this vision, it is not a vision of the sight. It is the vision of the mind. You, 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 you receive it as you are thinking. You begin to see things in your mind. You begin to see yourself at a certain level. You begin to see yourself somewhere doing what you want to become. And indeed, it comes to pass. It comes like a thought. It comes like a what? Are you here? It comes like a what? It comes like a what? But it is not a what. It is a vision actually. God is giving you an idea. A divine concept. God is giving you a divine concept. I prophesy. And I pray for you. In this season, God will give you a divine concept. It will come like you are thinking. But it will change your whole life forever. Say in the name of Jesus. I receive it now. I receive it now. Hey, hey. Put your hands with the Lord Jesus Christ somebody. So there is a possibility 
that you might have this idea. Now, somebody say, prophet, what are you talking about? Because I have had these visions. I have had these concepts. I have had these visions. Wow, it is possible to have them. Very possible to have them. But they could be false. That's why the Holy Spirit shall come as the spirit of truth. And when he shall come upon you, any concept he shall give you, it shall be a concept that is the truth. And the Bible says, he, the Holy Spirit, shall not lie. So this is why the Holy Spirit plays a big role in helping people to see real visions. So you will receive divine concepts, divine ideas, with the aid of the Holy Spirit. In Ezekiel, let's read the book of Ezekiel. Now, let's check this. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 12, verse 24. See what the Bible there says. For there will be no more false visions. For there will be no more what? The word vision there is the word has on, which means a divine concept or idea. So, we have people who are believing in false concepts. False ideas. And they put all their energy into it. And it fails. They'll be like, I've been trying to do business. I've been trying to do this. But nothing is moving. Nothing is working. Because it was a false concept. Hello? It is a false idea. But the Bible says when the Holy Spirit comes. Let's read again. John 2 verse 28. Let's read again. And afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Then people begin to prophesy. People begin to do what? To dream dreams. And the people begin to see what? People begin to see visions. And when they begin to see these visions, the Bible says that then there will be no more false visions. No more false has on. People begin to have ideas which would take them to greatness. People would download divine ideas that would change them from nobody to somebody. Somebody say, I hear you prophet. I receive a divine vision. I receive a vision over my career, over my marriage, over my relationship, over my project. I receive a divine vision. If you hear me, shout, I hear you. So this is Hazon, where you begin to receive divine ideas. I can see some of you here, you have companies, you registered them. They are in your house. They are just documents staying in the house. And the Bible says where there is no vision, people perish. So the reason why your company is just a paper in your house, it isn't because you, you, you are not intelligent. It isn't because you do not have capital. It isn't because you do not have connections. You have all connections, all capital. You may even have capital. Even if, even if you do not have capital, you do not need the capital in order to execute a vision. You need a vision in order to execute. Did you hear me that? It is a vision that produces money. It is not money that produces a vision. Oh, you didn't hear me. No, you, you didn't hear me. So the Bible says, I will pour out my spirit. I don't know why so many people don't read this scripture or misunderstand this scripture. The visions which are mentioned there in Hebrew version is Hazon. This one, it is not the one for prophets, us. No. No, no, no. For us, it is known as hazard for prophets. The visions which prophets see are known as hazard. They are meant to benefit others. Hazon, it is what you see, you at a personal capacity that comes directed to your personal use. So the Bible says they shall see what? Hazons. Divine ideas. 
that will change them. Someone after this program, he's going to wake up in the morning with one single idea. God will give this person a vision, an idea that will transform his whole life. All the billionaires in the world, it's not the money that made them. A concept. An idea. Do you hear me? What made all these billionaires in the world? It's a what? A concept. Now, can you imagine the Bible says God will pour his spirit in the church? And then people in the church will begin to see what? Visions. Will begin to have divine concepts. More than the ones in the world. I refuse to remain the same. I refuse. It's not my portion. As far as the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit is here. I'll keep on dreaming. I'll keep on seeing visions. Tell your neighbor next to you. Say you have a vision. Just pray to God to show you. It will transform your society. It will transform your family. It will change your country. If you believe that God can show you a vision, that he can give you an idea, raise up a hand. This is a prayer for you. May this vision come in your life. May this divine idea come in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive an idea that will change our country, your country, our continent, your continent. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will receive an idea that will change your family. It will change your company. It will change your Christianity. It will change your faith. It will change your walk in Christ. It will change your thinking, your mindset. Receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. In Daniel 7 verse 1, we see another Hazon. King James Version says what? In the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of what? His head. No, you he didn't hear this statement. He had a vision of his what? He had a vision of his head. Meaning, this vision, he was not seeing it somewhere like a screen. It was in his head. It came in his head. It came in his mindset. He was sitting somewhere and he began to visualize. He began to visualize. You need to have on. You, you begin to visualize something. You begin to see something like as if you are, you are there already. You begin to see something. For example, in Psalms chapter 1 from verse 3 to 5. All right? The Bible says what? Let's just go there. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he does shall prosper. Did you hear that? So he's having a thought. A thought. Anyone else who put his trust upon the Lord, he shall be like similitude. He shall be like a tree. So he's sitting down like this, and he's having an image of a tree planted by the river. So he is having a hazon. He is having a concept. He is seeing how it will look like. A tree planted by. There is no tree planted, but he is seeing it in that way. So you may be in your house, you may begin to see how your life spiritual will become. How your life financial will become. How you do it. How the whole idea will be like. So you begin to hazon to see with similitudes. Am I talking to somebody here? I pray that God will begin to give you ideas. 
visions of your mind. You begin to have these divine concepts. And the Bible says there shall be no more false visions. No more false ideas. This idea this time around, it will work. Raise up a hand and say it will work. Say it again. Say it will work. It will work. Say this idea. This idea. It, will it will work. Clap your hands for the Lord if you can. Stand up on your feet as we pray. Just stand up on your feet. I want everyone else to make a prayer. That God, I need you to change me. I need an idea. People are praying for money, but God says, I will not give you money. I will give you visions. There's no way. God said, I'll give you money. He said, I'll give you what? I'll give you visions. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I tried before. I tried before. And I failed. And I failed. But this time around, but this time around, God will give me an idea. God will give you an idea. It will not fail. And it will not fail. Say it again. Say this time around. This time around. God will give me a divine concept. God will give me a divine concept. It will not fail. It will not fail. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say divine concept. Divine concept. Divine concept. So what God will show me now will not fail. Do you believe? 